Hello, hello, dear Squarespace friends. We have some big news today. Squarespace have launched their new courses product. This is something they built specifically for course creators. As you can imagine, this is very exciting. Some of you may or may not know that I've actually been hosting my own courses on Squarespace since 2016. So that is quite a long time. And in the beginning, I just used a password protected blog. And then I had a JavaScript hack that would send the purchaser's email to MailChimp via Zapier so that MailChimp could deliver the password, you know, once someone had purchased a course. I just was so adamant that I wanted to host my courses on my own website. And there are many reasons for that. You know, I love the styling options that I have on Squarespace. And I just love the simplicity of keeping everything in one place. So eventually Squarespace launched campaigns. So that made the password delivery much easier. And then we also got member areas a couple of years ago. And I moved all of my courses to that because now my students could create an account on my website and have their own login. So I didn't need to send a password anymore. And member areas worked pretty well, but courses actually goes a step further and has been developed specifically for course creators. If you want to have a deep dive into this, I will be doing a webinar, a free webinar and next week on Monday, August 28th, I will leave a link in the description to that. And there I will go much deeper into this. But today I wanted to give you at least a little overview of what this means and what is it. So let us get started by going into, let me see here, my test website. So in your pages menu, you know, your website pages, you still have member sites. We can still create member sites. But now you can also add different, well, a new type of collection. So we're going to put it into the not linked sections. It's also possible to put it into a member site. Let us click on this here. And, you know, here are all the different page types that we have. And now new down here is courses. Let's click on that and it will give us a couple of mockups for courses. You can change all of this later. So we're just going to select this one here and it's going to create it, uh, you know, here, just like, like you create any page in Squarespace, really. You know, you give it a name and all of this can be changed and then it brings you into this. So this is a collection and you might know Squarespace has, you know, blogs and shop with products, portfolio items, videos. These are all collections in Squarespace. And this is a brilliant way of organizing the content. So you have at the moment three parts to this here. We have a course overview page and here, you know, we have an overview of the curriculum. That is always there. And then you can style this page whichever way you like, you know, so you can add sections to it and information. And this is what students are taken to, you know, when they click on the course name, when they're in a lesson. We'll get to that in a moment. You know, this page is also publicly available, so you could use it and build it out as a sales page. Personally, I wouldn't probably do that because I don't want to have the whole curriculum in here for a number of reasons. And I think Squarespace are working on this to make this optional, you know, so that to give us the ability to also hide this page or maybe just, you know, this section here. So they're still, they're still working on a lot of things, you know, while they are further developing this product. Now on the, in the left here, click on course content. And this is kind of like, you know, what we see when we have blog posts and such except that now we have chapters or modules, you know, so they're basically folders. And inside these folders, we have our lessons. I love this. You know, this is just so nice. So let's click on one of the lessons. And the way this is structured is, you know, it, it has a video at the top. So you can upload a video directly to Squarespace. You can also still embed a video using a YouTube or Vimeo link that still works as well. Now you can actually get, you know, a, um, you know, a time, you know, how long a video is. So here, for instance, you can see where it says 11 minutes, you know, so this is an 11 minute video. So on the lesson overview, it will tell you the time that only works if you upload the video directly to Squarespace, you know, so that doesn't work with embedded videos. So that's just a little aside. And yeah, and then here we have our actual lesson and we can use the power of Squarespace design, you know, and we can design 
some really beautiful looking lessons here. And, you know, all you do is, you know, like you would with any page on Squarespace, you know, click on edit, and then you can go right into the lesson and style it as you like. And I can just see so many options here, especially for visual businesses, you know, like artists who create, who teach artist courses. And I mean, it's just really, really wonderful. You can also add, you know, more videos to your page here. I mean, anything that you can add on a regular page, you can add to a lesson. And then you, you know, you just save it and you do everything else works just the way you are used to from Squarespace. What is really nice about this is that we now have a sidebar for navigation. So if you click on this and then here, you know, we have our sidebar. And we can go to any other lesson. Now, it always collapses again, you know, so we have to always click on this to see the sidebar. You know, at the moment, it's not possible to have it to be fixed on the page. That's something we've asked for. I'm not quite sure if it's actually possible to do this, but maybe they're still working on that. But nonetheless, this is really nice. You know, you get a progress bar here at the top. You can actually check off lessons right here in the sidebar. And then you can see, you know, it then adjusts the progress bar accordingly. You can also uncheck them, you know, if you feel like, oh, okay, I want to do this one again. And if you are in a lesson, you can also click on complete and continue, and that will take you to the next lesson. And then here, it will also have it checked, you know, and you can see your progress. And if you go to your homepage for your course, and here you also have the progress bar, and you can also see what you have completed. I love this. This is just so nice. I also really like, you know, true to Squarespace, being Squarespace, that we can, for instance, have thumbnails here, you know, and you can change the colors and everything, by the way, in your global color editor. And, you know, this is driven by the theme that you're using, you know, for your lesson. And, but yeah, so this is just visually really nice. I like this a lot. So, that is how, you know, we, we create our lessons and you can add more lessons. You can add more chapters or modules. Now, if we go back here, we also have pricing plans. So now we have a new way to sell and package courses and digital products. So let me show you actually. Now we can, you know, create a new pricing plan here. So basically what you have to do is unlike member areas where you price member areas directly, that's not possible anymore. We actually have now pricing plans for each of our products and bundles, and then we can add the products. So, you know, I've created some pricing plans here. So we have a bundle and then we here we have individual courses, for instance. Now let's have a look at that a bit more in commerce. So let us go to our home menu and go to selling, go to products. And then up here, we have all the different products that we can sell in Squarespace and go to digital products. And then here, these are our pricing plans, you know, and you can add a pricing plan here. So let's also now go into a pricing plan and have a, have a look at this. You know, so you have a name, you have a description. What's really nice is we have now a list of benefits, you know, that will be shown under the, you know, this is basically your your product block, you know, your digital product block that you can put onto your website. And so you can add, I think, up to five or six benefits here. And then you have pricing options, you know, a fixed amount. You can add payment options. You can do a subscription or you can make it free. And then here you can include other products. So once you have created all your digital products, you know, you just click on that. And in here, this is the one that I just created, the new course. So we could just add that in here. So we have actually got four products in this bundle. You can also create a sign up limit, you know, so if you have a particular enrollment date, so you can determine that here as well, you know, so there can actually be a sign up deadline, which is really nice. And yeah, you know, so this is actually really nice. I love this so much. I can't even tell you. So I want to take you through how this looks for a customer now. So I'm actually going to go to my website. So here are, you know, two digital product blocks that, you know, that they're actual products that I'm selling. Now I styled them a little bit, you know, so I added, you know, some images here on top of the product block. 
And I also used some CSS to apply a background color for my digital product blog. No, it's just something that I like to do. You can see here, here are our, you know, benefits that we just listed in our, in our product. So what does this, how does this work if someone makes a purchase? This is a little bit different to how most other platforms, you know, sell products like these. Because in Squarespace, we actually create the account first. So let's, let's try this. Let's click on purchase. So now it will ask us to create the account first. Now I've heard people say they don't like that, you know, because they feel like it's a barrier. I disagree. I actually know that this works really well and I actually like it a lot because people create their account there and then, then they make the purchase. And then they immediately have access to their courses. So they don't have to wait for an email or anything. The reason why you will see sometimes people create an account, but then not complete the purchase. Well, that is what happens. That is why, for instance, we have abandoned carts because a lot of people do this. You know, they, they click on something and then either they get distracted or they change their mind or they think, Oh, I'll come back to this later but they've already created the account. That is why you may see that. Personally, I don't think it's a big problem because I want people, you know, in my courses who want to have my courses, obviously. But I also want to make it easy for those who do want to purchase, who are ready to purchase, to get to the course. I want this to be really easy and this makes it easy. So, you know, just communicate that this is how it works. And I don't think it's a big problem. So I actually, I already have a account. So let me just put that in here. Now I created like a test account and hopefully I remember the right password now. Sorry. I always have these, all these password pop-ups. So it now brings us to the regular checkout page, you know, that we have in Squarespace. And I'm actually using a discount code here so that I don't have to actually pay for this. And by the way, this discount code will not work. <laughs> so if you try this on my website, it's not going to work. I only created it for this demonstration. And then, you know, here we go through the, all the usual stuff and continue and purchase. So now, you know, it will create your account if you haven't got one yet, you know, or in my case, it logged me in. And then if I click on view products and then here it gives me all the products in my, in my bundle. I mean, how nice is that? I can see all three at a glance. When I used member areas, you know, people had to actually join each, you know, each course individually, you know, to, when they purchased the bundle. Now we don't have to do that anymore. So now they just click on this. And now I still at this point use member areas for my courses. I mean, I haven't <laughs> moved them all over to courses yet. It's quite a lot of work. So it will all happen eventually. But I mean, member areas still works really well, you know, so this is basically what it looks like inside a course. And what I like about member areas is, of course, that up here I get the navigation so people can immediately see this. But even if you're using courses, though, you don't get this. So this is only member areas. So in this example, because this is only an example, you know, you know the course, you know, that is using the courses collection, you would be able to see that in your account, you know. So you just click on your account, go to digital products, and then here you are. And this is also how you can navigate then between the different digital products. So yeah, so this is exciting stuff. And I hope that this overview was helpful. Again, come to my webinar next week if you want to have more of a deep dive. And I will also be talking a little bit more about what does this mean if we already have member areas. Should we move to courses now? What are the things that we still don't have, you know, that Squarespace are still working on and that we still need and all of that. And I will also answer any questions that you may have. Until then, I hope that this was helpful. Give it a like and if it was, and I will see you next time. Thank you.